Okay, so uh, in honor of Leap Year or Leap Night, Vesper Lounge is hosting a Secrets of the Speakeasy. It's going to be a weird and magical night, so Ves we're all for it. Vesper Lounge. Mike, that's every night for you, isn't it? I love weird that place. It has a secret basement that you can go to, no yes. cell phones allowed. So this guy is the man of the hour. His name is Francis, and he's a native of State College. And he moved to Philly in 2000, so he's a Philly guy now. So to jump into the magic scene here, that's the reason why he moved here. And he has been on the popular show Pin and Teller Fool Us. And he was able to fool uh, a veteran magician, Penn and Teller. Now, he's yeah. done magic for President Obama, what, twice? And he's a magic coach to actor Jeremy Renner. I love that show, Fool Me, or Fool Us, whatever it is. <laughs> well, welcome to Good Day Philadelphia. Thank you. Pleasure. Nice Good morning. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for having me. Now, he's going to do it. Oh, we're in, the event at Fesber is tonight. That's tonight at 6.30. It's sort of a happy hour show. And okay. uh, it's about an hour-long show of um, magic and mentalism and that sort of thing. So I'll be reading people's minds. And you can get tickets in advance or at the door? Uh, yeah, you can. Actually, at my website. Uh, it's uh, minatimagic.com. But uh, you can get them there or at the door. That street's kind of hard to find. It's in between 15th and yes. 16th off of Locust Street. Yep. Between Locust and uh, Walnut. A speakeasy. It's so cool. You think you're in, your, in the 20s. Anyway. What are you going to do for us today? I'm going to do a sort of condensed version of what I did on the Penn & Teller show. This okay. is actually a trick that I used to fool Penn & Teller, which was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going to happen, though, is get uh, Scrabble tiles, about 100 letter tiles, as you would in the normal game. Okay. Uh, you're going to take, uh, we'll have seven people take some tiles, and I'm going to have one of you select a word. So, uh, I need five some... people! There we go. Good. Uh, let's there start by go. this. Would you take, a, take the bag, mix it okay. up, shake, shake the bag a little, and then go ahead and grab a tile. Keep it to yourself. Now, most importantly, grab don't show anyone the tile. Just okay. keep the letter okay. to yourself, remember it, and uh, pass Mike? the bag along. We'll All collect right. them down here on the table. You can actually just put them on the table face down face so down. no one else can see okay. it. In the meantime, uh, once you've done you have one tile each. Because yeah. what we'll do is we're going to collect seven letter tiles. You just remember yours. Uh, oh, I'm going to try and read. Yeah, yeah, you remember it. It's not going to be much of a trick otherwise. Oh, and Miss and Philadelphia is here. Oh, hi. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank first you very of all. Much. It gets magical more magical by yes. the second. <laughs> uh, what we'll do, just say stop for me as I go through the dictionary, please. Stop. Excellent, good. And I'm going to have you uh, select a word, but take the pencil and circle a word somewhere on the page there, wherever you like. Don't, don't look do you at it. Okay. You got it? Okay. We'll mark this. It I'll me. mark it where you marked it. Hold okay. on to that. All righty. Now, let me explain what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to collect all these tiles and try and put, uh, put together a word, but I feel like I have to get into the mood of Scrabble. If I just use these words, like I could have said, take the pencil and circle a word, that would be fine. Instead, I could have said, uh, take the ligneous accreted graphite stylus and inscribe a small circle approximately the dimensions of a pecuniary pittance representing the value of a decimated oh. dollar, right? I understand yeah, that. Yeah, same yeah, thing. It's the same number, same thing. It's just a different words, right? Yeah. So the language mm -hmm. is kind of beautiful. So what we'll do is uh, go ahead and open the book to the page. Okay. And take the tiles that you have here. And we're going to see if we can figure out what word I can get. Do you have a selected word? Don't say what it is yet. Do you see okay. in the circled word there somewhere? I do have a somewhere? selected word. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is the word you sent. Can you see it over there as well? Mm -hmm. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a few. Uh, this is going to be a good... This is gonna be, who had the letter P by any chance? I, I think I had a P. You I had the letter P? I had a P. Oh, you okay. did? I'm gonna actually put you pee? right at the <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to wait to the end of the segment. Okay. Uh, letter P, I'm gonna put you right here. So for the first time, it's my fervent hope that through the sesquipedalian demonstration of a frivolous cone, I've successfully rendered my intention that whenever possible, one should eschew obfuscation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Makes so sense. <laughs> what was the word that you ended up selecting? Uh, for me? Yes. T. No, the, oh. uh, the word, no, not the letter. Oh, okay. The, the, uh, the word. What was the word? Present. The word you circled was present? Mm-hmm. Word. What? No, oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's my God. I know, right? Oh, it's freaking me awesome. out. It's, freaking it's like out. magic. It's like You're <laughs> a weirdo. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> that is a compliment. That is pretty I cool. Much. I love magic. It's I a lot of too. fun. And yeah. you're a little different with your magic, because don't you tell, like, a story while you're doing it? I usually focus more on the theatrics. Like, in ah. this one, this was the condensed version. Yeah. You'll see a longer version of this, this trick that I used to fool Penn & Teller at the show. But the focus is not just on the magic trick, but the actual words. You know, I think the words are beautiful. Uh, so my show is full of a lot of long theatrical scripted stories. We should I go like tonight. Yeah. I think it should. Sounds like fun. Don't you need a password? Do you need a password? Yeah, you, you have this? to have a password to get down below. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this is pass phones. That's right. Uh, and the password is secrets. So don't don't tell everyone out there, but so secrets. Good to meet you, man. Oh, wait, thank you. Thanks thank for having you. me. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Francis. Thanks so much.